Welcome back Frost Education, this is that. Today we're going to be talking about Sundial Corp. Now, this one here, Sundial Cannabis, I covered a few DD with, with technical analysis on it previously. You'll find it in the description below. Make sure to drop a like to this video to help this channel grow, subscribe, leave your cations on, and let's jump right into this one. So, Sundial Cannabis. If you haven't watched my previous videos, just a quick overview. Well, they sell cannabis. I think it's kind of quite obvious. They have different products, Top Leaf, Sundial, BC Weed Co., Palmetto, and Grasslands. So they have different products in here under uh, different kind of crafts, for instance. They go on for either value point, value, uh, value point for value pricing, convenience core pricing, experience core pricing, craft premium core pricing, and concierge premium pricing. And it goes anywhere from flowers to buds to pre-rolls to concentrates to vapes to uh, just flowers to oils to topicals. The list goes on, including as well beer-infused cannabis. And they have different uh, brands for either discount value core, premium core, or just premium, and different uh, values, or sorry, different market shares and price participation for those. So moving on, I'm not going to go on and be repetitive. Of course, they do have their Sundial uh, premium concentrate product under its top leaf brand, the introduction for that. If you do remember, one of the previous acquisitions was related towards uh, the investments in the oil or, or uh, the extract of cannabis so that was actually one of them for the concentrates with simply solventless and that gives them as well a bit more of uh, advancements towards the premium brands now another thing here is regarding their 400 million dollars uh offering that's probably going to come up sometime soon now that 400 million dollars that was announced way ago of course, it created some scare in the market, but then we really bounced back to around, I think at the top of the day was around something like a dollar, uh, almost 50. And then in that sense, they can easily still pay off their entire debt. And this is one of the arguments that I had previously. They can easily pay off their entire debt if they actually go with that $400 million. And that is extremely good. That's really bullish in that sense. And you can get to see a lot of advancements coming in from there. Um, and so that is definitely a bullish standpoint. And that comes on towards the institutional buyers. Institutional buyers are loading up on this one all week. And that is an amazing thing if you think about it. Insiders, we don't have much details, but SEC filings have been quiet for quite a bit. Now, other than, that, of course, the SEC filing for the offering. Now, moving on towards the technical analysis, if you haven't done so, please make sure to drop a like to this video to help the channel grow and subscribe. If you would like to join our chat room, it's down in the description below if you're into that. So on a one week perspective, Things are looking a lot better than general. ADX suggests that this is just the beginning of a trend or uh, beginning of a strong trend. In fact, momentum is actually going up nicely. Only percent R is somewhere around neutral and the MACD is looking stable. Moving averages are looking good. Now, on a one day perspective, you got you got golden cross yesterday. And what did I say? Once you have your golden cross, you're going to see a run. And in fact, you see a run. The MACD is testing a positive grounds. ADX is showing, showing that, hey, there is potential for a good move there. And William Percent R is sitting uh, nicely here around neutral a little, quite closer to the oversold position. On a two-hour perspective, things look a little bit rougher. It looks like it's seen a massive pullback from the 136. Between 10 SMA and 30 MA here, you have your trading action zone between the 82 cents and the 71 cents. And that's still bullish because until all the way until it falls down towards 66 cents, that is a significant support level. Next thing we're moving on is the moving average band. 80 cents on the top, 47 cents on the bottom is the Bollinger Bands. The moving average band sits this one, 70 cents on the top, middle 64 cents, and in the bottom 57 cents. That is still extremely bullish in that sense of it. Now, stochastic fast and stochastic slow. This one here, you get to see it shows that there is another leg up. And that's all you need to know, and that's looking bullish. Now, the current support level on the Fibonacci retracements is sitting at 75, 61, 43, and 14 cents. Significant resistances, 89, 110, and 136. Moving on next. Oh, this is the wrong stock. There we go. Moving on next. We need to look a little bit into this trend line. Remember when I told you this trend line, once it breaks, things can go uh, sideways? Well, it hasn't been broken yet, but... This massive jump from 136 all the way to 65 cents, that is more than 50% tanking after jumping from uh, 60 cents. So it went 
and then dove down almost to uh, wipe all the gains in a day. That's something concerning. But what we're going to do here is we're going to do three months, one day. Find the significant support levels, which is currently at 81, followed by 75, followed by a very, very strong one at the 65, 66 cents. We've seen it before in the chart. Then 55 cents, and then 44 cents, 38 cents, and 28 cents. Now, moving on. Resistances, 93 cents, 108, 117, 132, 160, 170. Above there, you're looking up at two, or almost around uh, 190 and then almost to the two bucks level, 221. Uh, now it comes to the question to Ed, what do you think about this one? Are you still bullish on this one? Well, with their $400 million offering, I think there's definitely room to grow there. Especially with extra funding going on and uh, generally speaking, relating towards US expansion. Yeah, that's good. Now, the big thing I did go through basically the finance committee and people are people who are the people on the finance committee uh, and whether their stance is on there. Now, to be completely frank, this one here was more of relate this run here. It's not very much of an organic run. This was mainly on a run. Because a short interest flow is around 15%. But that doesn't make sense because if you were to get a short squeeze that is actually efficient, you need more than 30% on there. So in that sense, it almost failed that short squeeze. And now it's going to have to accumulate. Now hopefully above the 66 cents. And we're going to take it. You know, above 66 cents, that is good. That is in this region. And that's where you consider start adding up and down. Now when it comes into words, try to go for 100% runners. So you got to calm down a little because even if the entire Twitter and Reddit starts backing this up and, uh, and making it wanted to go to 100 bucks, what you're having issue right now is apps like Robinhood, etc., hedge funds that are betting against it will have control. And it is almost that the market or, or Wall Street is recognizing, oh, market is being manipulated by someone, not them. They're freaking out. So you need to be very careful. Now, on a longer term investment, as long as it stays above this trend line, I am bullish period short-term investment about multiplying your money that's not how we trade here we need to be very careful with calculated risks and that is my opinion on it now in all sense of you you can watch my previous video I believe my last one was an overview regarding the more act with the secretary of finance what their position on cannabis is these are all important to give you a full picture a uh, time view or time frame of when it's going to go back to the senate vote because it did get it's going to get another hearing and uh, the stance whether republicans or democrats and the over breakdown between the two so make sure to drop a like to this video to help the channel grow subscribe notifications on and have a wonderful day